Hello and welcome to this first Python tutorial. We're going to start with a simple tour of the Python environment. When Python starts, you can see what's called the Python Interactive Shell. In this interactive shell, we can try out commands and see what the results would be. For example, if I put 2 plus 2, when I press Enter, we get the answer 4. 3 times 2, when this is evaluated, the computer evaluates it, we get 6. In Python we can use all the normal operators available on a calculator. In Python a number, such as 4, is known as an integer. A number with a decimal place is known as a floating point number. An expression is a maths problem. Computers solve millions of these problems per second. And expressions are made up of values, such as 4, an operator, such as times, and a second value, 4 times 2. The expression is then evaluated by the computer and we get the result 8. We can have 8 divided by 4 will be evaluated to 2. And you can see there it evaluates out as a floating point number. So that deals with numbers for now. But what if we want to deal with text, or in computer terms, a string? If I want uh, Python to type the word welcome to Python, I simply put in the command print, open my bracket, put in one speech mark, and type in what I'd like Python to say. Welcome, oh, can't spell. Welcome to Python. I close my speech marks and my brackets. When I press enter, this expression will be evaluated and we'll see welcome to Python. What I'd like you to do now is to try some expressions try getting Python to do some text for you. So for now I'm going to say goodbye and we will talk again after. Ah, dear me. Now here's a very good point. When you get something like this, this is telling you you have made a mistake. The red text tells me what I've done. It tells me the bottom line here, if we look at this bottom line here, name error, name print is not defined. If you notice the difference between this print and this one, one's got a small p, one has a capital P. In computing, it's important that we get our capitals and our lowercase correct. You must remember your brackets, so it's all about being accurate. So that's goodbye for now, and we'll see you next time for variables.